further meeting here at the New York Fed. In fact, we started to see some of those executives, the major uh, brokers uh, for uh, debt, starting to arrive for that meeting with senior Treasury officials and uh, senior administration officials tell CNBC that they're not going to outline how they're going to pay bills or anything of that sort. Uh, basically, they're going to be there listening and talking and trying to gauge feedback from these uh, principals who are involved in terms of the issuance of debt. Too big to fail. Socialism. Mobs. Panic. Selling this to Congress is the problem. Banks are closed. Talking nationalization. It's going to be the end of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Reserve Bank is a private banking cartel by its own admission. As Bloomberg reported, while the Fed's Washington-based Board of Governors is a federal agency subject to the Freedom of Information Act and other government rules, the New York Fed and other regional banks maintain that they are separate institutions and owned by their member banks. That means the member banks like Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and all the other top 20 banks that are meeting here today at the Fed with the Treasury Department to decide the fate of our economy are the real owners of the Federal Reserve Bank. They create a boom and bust economy and then go to Congress and threaten economic meltdown if we don't bail them out with taxpayer dollars. Since the Federal Reserve was instituted 100 years ago, the dollar has lost 90% of its value. Thomas Jefferson said, I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. The issuing power should be taken from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. The Constitution of the United States requires that the Congress regulate monetary policy, that the Congress issues the currency, yet in 1913, the Congress signed the Federal Reserve Act, which gave up the power of issuing the currency to the Federal Reserve private banking cartel. Look on your dollar. Take a dollar out of your pocket. Do you notice it says Federal Reserve Note? A note is a debt instrument. The dollar in your pocket has no actual value. Fed decides what the value is. Every dollar that the Federal Reserve Bank prints, they charge the American people interest. So when the U.S. government says we need X amount of dollars, it's actually X amount plus interest. And the United States, the people, the taxpayers, are the ones paying that interest. These banksters, you guys, these banksters right here are looting our economy. They, they invest in derivatives that they know are going to go bust, so that way they can go to the American people and say, we need a bailout. It's a Ponzi scheme. Bernie Madoff went to jail for what these guys do every day with the blessing of the American government. And it's no different whether it's Bush or Obama. They all have to be They're criminals. They should be locked up. The Congress sold the Federal Reserve Bank control of the issuance of the currency in 1913 with the Federal Reserve Act, taking the power away from Congress, our elected officials, who we can fire if they don't do the right thing, and putting it in the hands of the banksters, a private banking cartel by their own admission, while the Fed's Washington-based Board of Governors is a federal agency, the New York Fed and other regional banks maintain they are separate institutions owned by their member banks, like Chase, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America. Yeah, I'm making a fool out of myself. I'm educating the American uh, listen, people. I, I, hear take, you, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. You got what? So I no, no, report no, this. No, no. Report listen, this that it's a better. Listen to me. A, uh, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm asking listen to you. Well, then don't listen to me. I'm not. I, but I would appreciate if I'm doing my work to respect what I do. I'm, exp I'm expressing my constitution. I know, but, First you're also, but you're also ruining it for everybody else here, okay? The bankers get their say on TV all day long. Yeah, I don't know. They pay. Yeah, we're, we're they pay. NBC, Bloomberg, here you go. They pay for it they all day long. We don't pay for it. We, the people, don't get a voice because we're drowned out by the dollars, by your boss. Thanks.
I'm just making a living, pal. I know you are, but you're working for a guy who's looting the American economy or taking part of it. The banks and corporations that grow up around them, Chase Bank, will deprive the people of all property. What are they doing? They issue subprime loans and then foreclose on the houses and take the homes away because they destroyed the economy so now people can't pay their mortgages. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a socialist. I'm a free market capitalist. These people are so it's a socialist entity. It is a private banking cartel. It is a fascist monopoly dictatorship run by Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, and all the top banks. And the press can ignore me all they want, but it's because they're paid by the same corporate interest. The corporate media just enables the lying to go of both the Bush, Obama regime, the Federal Reserve Bank. Who the hell think, do you think owns these guys? They're paid by Chase Bank. They're paid by Wells Fargo. The corporate media are shills. I challenge the corporate media. Even if you want to paint me as some lunatic, I challenge the corporate media to put something that I'm saying on the air. I challenge you guys. If you're not chill, if you want to support all sides of the issue, why not? What are you afraid of? That your bosses are going to fire you because you lost advertising dollars for covering the truth? All this back up for you? The truth that the Federal Reserve Bank is a private banking cartel by its own admission. Right here, I read you the quote 15 times. Only the Federal Reserve Board of Governors is actually a federal agency. You see how well they govern the banks. <laughs> it is the banks governing the Federal Reserve. So what happens? These private banking cartels move across the economy. They sell derivatives backed by nothing, created out of thin air. They sell these derivatives to our U.S. government. The derivative bubble crashes. All of the pensions that are invested in these derivatives go flat. So the middle class loses its all of retirement. Right? Fine, you guys know. And then what happens? Then they go to the Congress and say, we need a bailout from the American people, or else we're going to control demolition the economy. Here's my friend, this financial terrorist. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York are financial terrorists. Well, I'll let you fill risk a second and you can piece of it. Will your corporate master's allow you to do that? Are you really going to use this or are we just teasing each other? No, I might use it. MSNBC, that's the MSNBC.
I, I would love, if you cover anything, cover the Thomas Jefferson book. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous for our liberties than standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issuance of their currency, but first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations that can all around will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the property of their fathers. Conquer. The issuing power should be taken from the banks and restored to the Congress, to the people. We the people elect Congress. We can fire them if they don't do the right job. We can't fire the Fed, and we can't fire the CEOs of, of uh, Chase and J.P. Morgan and Ken. And they say I can't change all the things I find strange For what can one man do alone? Is what can one man do alone? I'm Ed Griffin. I'm Sheriff Richard Mack. I'm Jesse Ventura. And you're watching. You're watching. And you're watching. You're watching. Squad. 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 Squad.